can a fresh start, a new city, a new series help? Yeah, we need to get out of Atlanta. Uh, I mean, that's a good baseball team. And with the exception of one inning, I thought we played really well against them. Uh, you know, I mean, the four starting pitchers we saw are all really good. That lineup's as deep as any lineup we've seen. Uh, and when the bottom of their order does damage, you know, then you know it's really deep. And they did, you know, they did damage today. I mean, Duvall hit two homers and Contreras hit a homer. So I, I think for our young kids, it's just realizing that, uh, you know, the big leagues is challenging and there's good teams out there and the Reds are one. You know, when you and baseball ops, your coaching staff, when they look at these four games, what takeaways are there, both good and bad? Well, I think there's definitely takeaways in terms of, you know, some of the areas we, in, in terms of how we pitched. I thought Brew pitched really well the first night here. You know, for our young position players to get in an environment like this, it's really important. I mean, we've been to LA, we've been to San Diego, you know, Friday, Saturday night here, they can get into the game a little bit. That's important for our group. I mean, you know, it's not a moral victory in any way, but it's a learning experience and we have to continue to learn. And, and we just didn't play well enough to beat a good team. Shelby Quintana has not given up many homers at all. I think just two before today, and then he gives up the three. What, what led to that today? Or is it just a matter of facing a good lineup? Yeah, I think it's facing a good lineup. Uh, you know, I mean, the, the one Contreras hit hits the pole. So, you know, another three or four feet and we have a foul. Yeah. Uh, and then the second one Duvall hit was just a good swing. I mean, it was a change up out over the plate that he hit the that he hit the right field. Uh, you know, it wasn't a poorly executed pitch. It wasn't a great pitch, but it was a pretty good swing. So I, I think in that regard, it's just, it's more lineup based. I think one of the broadcasts mentioned he's a little under the, under the weather right now. Yeah, he's he's been battling something over the last few days, but I don't think that you know affected him at all. I mean, he was able to bounce back. I thought the fact that he was able to give us the fifth inning at the top of their order uh, was really important for us and gave us a gave us a chance after Brian hit the two run homer. Marcona has been really good to start this series, and since he's been called up, now he's got three hits. It's always nice to have a little bit of extra something to when you guys are going down. Yeah, I mean, he he had good at bats throughout the series. Him and Brian both. And it's like we talked about, Tuba's a baseball player. And, uh, you know, today he had good swings and, and did a nice job at the top of the lineup. How nice was it to get him and Jack in that trade in, uh, late last year? Yeah, I mean, I think any time we can acquire players that, you know, we, I mean, we traded a good player to get two players that we, we you know, expect to be part of our future. So anytime you do that, uh, you know, it's a bonus. It's tough trading players, especially everyday players. But when you start to see the results on the guys on the backside, it's uh, it's a really good thing. What do you think it is with Brian Reynolds in the month of June that gets him going? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If I if I knew that, we would transfer it into April and May. But, uh, he, I mean, he's taking good swings, and it's good to see him start to get hot. Chelsea, looking back on that a little bit, it seems like he's on the other side of some things now. Like, how much do you admire the guy? I mean, clearly he went through something that couldn't have been easy after signing the contract and all this stuff, and he fought his way out of it. Like, how much do you admire maybe his attitude and his approach to, to working his way through? Yeah, I, I admire the consistency that he has every day. And, you know, one of the things that we've talked about consistently with Brian is he, he's pretty even-killed. He's, he's extremely competitive. Uh, but he stays even keeled and it's a grind, man. When you're trying to find your swing from both sides of the plate, then uh, you really have to battle. So I, I just appreciate the work he's put in uh, with Andy in the cage and then this ability just to stay with his approach.